No, no, it's a, I'm going to tell you the top 10 uh, things that are in my categories of bad things and stuff in the year, but this is the video for the interesting and subject to be in So, I'm going to give you the top 10 uh, stuff that, that well, is really bad. I'm going to start off with number 1. Relationships are really, really bad. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love um, who I'm with just now, but I'm bisexual, and I know that might sound pure greedy, but really it's not. Um, but it's complicated, it's the same thing. Um, same thing, sorry, but that's not. I've had one guy in my whole life in a relationship and I am with the first person I have ever known. have a baby if we could, I don't even know what. Um, I mean it's lovely, my brother, uh, he's with his married wife, which is lovely, but I just don't think I'll ever have that in a lady or a man, I just don't think it would happen. But uh, anyway, let's go into number two, and I'll go back into the relationship, it's too much for me. So after I really thought it was, I'm going to show you a clip and I'm putting it up here in the corner here so you see a clip of one of my uh, hot tempers This video is fake, but not this video you're watching right now Oh, this one, oh. <laughs> I know, but the video that you're going to see on the corner is fake It was done for a YouTube video um, of the Psycho Family And it's me smashing, uh, smashing some wine on a on the glass, uh, it's quite good. Uh, I'll, I'll cut the video so you can see me play it, but I'll show you a little bit of it. Um, see what you think of it. Uh, I'm just about smashing the glass. I really think that's a hot temper. Uh, I'm going to go to number 3, and it's concentration. Concentration is really, really bad for me because. I can concentrate on something for a long time and then I blink of an eye, I look this way and I forget about what I'm talking about and uh, it's just, it's terrible. Um, it's a loss of concentration, it's not very good. See, I'm reading a book and somebody will talk to me and I'll be like, oh yes, I, what was I reading? Can't remember. But anyway, that's what that is, okay. Next one is number four. Missing or forgetting appointments. I can read a few of them, but it is because it's in my book. And my book is here and it's the gift of ADHD. I'm going to put this as the front page of the full uh, the full vlog that you're seeing. Uh, so it's missing appointments. And I didn't know that was one. And I do miss appointments like every time that I've got an appointment. I've got an appointment with a social worker on Monday. <sighs> But hopefully I won't miss that one because I've I've got it on my phone and I've got stuff set for it. Now last time I had I had one on Friday uh, when was it? Thursday I had one and I missed it because I think it was no no it was Thursday because ah uh, yes and I missed it because um, I slept I fell asleep. So it is. Sleepness is one of the symptoms as well. I'm not going into sleepness, but that is a symptom of ADHD and other stuff. Okay, next one is fidgeting. And right now I am actually fidgeting with a pen, as you can see here. Now, I'll do this and I'll do that, you know. 
Um, but I am actually doing it right now. I am playing with it and I'm, I'm like this. But that's just one of the things that, that, that happens on ADHD people. Um, so the fidgeting is one of the one of the baddest things because you're in the office or something or you're in work and you're fidgeting with pens and and paper clips and everything else you know it's it's no right obviously but it's one of the things that 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 come into me okay the next thing i'm going to talk about is mood swings <clears throat> and mood swings and that's the number six by the way i will never finished mood swings are like i'm happy one minute and the next minute I'm sad, and in the next minute I'm angry, in the next minute I'm upset, in the next minute I'm excited and I'm just over the moon and everything else. But we're going to get into that bit at number nine. Okay, next day, that's really what mood swings are. Uh, next is suicide attempts. Okay, suicide has been a big issue for me over the years. Um, I stopped thinking about it, like now, because uh, I take tablets and medication. It makes me feel much better about myself, and and you know what, it works. You know, um, the tablets. Um, suicide has been really bad, and I have been on suicide watch. That is one of the worst situations that anybody could get into. I remember the police were called. Somebody from America seen the post on Facebook that I was going to go and jump off a bridge. And the police were called and they came in my house and spoke to me. And, and you know, you know it's, it's one of the things that ADHD does. Now I've got ADHD in adulthood now. Okay, I'm going to go on to number eight because I'm not really allowed to talk about the suicide anymore. Okay, employment. Employment. I've not had any paid jobs and I doubt I'm going to get any. It's a really difficult one. I've got um, voluntary work, but I've got that time as well. Voluntary work doesn't work because it... it um, I end up going and gets fucked up, you know, and, and, and it's it's nothing there, you know, and there's no point even being about because you you've lost your job or or you you know, and, and whenever I do tend to leave somewhere I'll say, Do you know what, stick your job, I don't wanna work anymore and it just, it, it, it's upsetting, you know, I mean, it really is, and that's one of the mood swings about that as well. Um, it's, it's pretty bad. On my birthday, actually, this year, it was pretty bad. I, I, I ended up losing my job, and I just quit my job. Nothing much I could do about it, I just quit it, and that's... I mean, I could go back if I wanted to, but... I just don't think it would happen. I would like it to, but I mm, don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go into the next one, which is number nine. It's hyperness. Now, I get very hyper at times. If I don't take my medication, I'll go back to the, the same person I was all them years ago. Hyper, hyper, hyper. Hyper deals! <laughs> and that's the, the stuff comes out like... It's the hyperness and it's just it's stupid. It really is stupid. Um, okay, so I'm going to go into the last one. And this is my top ten at number ten. And it's swearing. Swearing is a bad one. I mean, I'll swear at most things. I'll laugh at things that's not even funny. Um, and I'll go, oh, fuck off, man. You can fuck right off. I'm sorry about the language on this one. But that is what happens whenever you, you're with somebody with ADHD there will be a lot of swearing. I mean I talk to my pals and I, I talk to them as I'm swearing at them and I go, ah oh, fuck you man, fuck you. <laughs> it's just, it, it's really one of the things again. But thank you very much for listening to this full 
uh, conversation on ADHD. It's lasted 10 minutes and I want to say thank you very much um, to all the suggestions that I told you about and maybe it will help you today with the gift of ADHD high practice. Oh no. Attention. This. Oh, shut up. What, really? Really? Is she ready? Oh, ready. <laughs> Attention. Deficit hyperactive disorder. Thank you for watching. Give me a like if you enjoyed this video. Remember to su oh, no. remember subscribe to the channel. Give me a like if you enjoyed the video. Give me a comment if you really enjoyed the video. Bye. See ya. Where they wanna be ya. <laughs> it's now time for the outtakes. Action. Remember when subscribe. Cut. And sub subscribe to the ch channel. Give me a like if you enjoyed the. <laughs> Give me a like if you enjoyed the. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Calder behind the camera here. Oh, fuck! Drop the camera. Oh my god! Are you joking me? Camera's broke. Cracked. It's happened to my screen. It broke. Stupid shit!